Hey guys, it's your boy Mark back with another video here to give you my review of day three of the G1 Climax 28th, of course. Uh, this show got off the air uh, nearly four hours ago, actually, and I'm sorry guys that my review is a little bit late. Uh, this show did happen earlier tonight, of course. It's just that uh, I actually fell asleep uh, while the first uh, two hours of the show happened. So I had catching up to do, okay? Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you guys for, you know, taking the time out of the day to watch my reviews. really means a lot to me. And subscribing to me, of course, you know, every time I see I get a new subscriber, it just brightens up my day. Like, it really makes my day, and I, I couldn't be more grateful, man. Uh, but yeah. Well, let's review day three of the G1 Climax, of course. We'll be starting off with the the five tag matches, and then we'll go on to the eight block matches, uh, which are also five uh, block matches. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Opening match, we have the Gorillas of Destiny, consisting of Tama Tonga and Tonga Law, uh, versus Shoto Umino and Toa Hinare. Oh, this was a, it was, it was fun, honestly. I thought it was cool for what it was. You know, basically what you'd expect, you know, Tama Tonga doing cool stuff. Tai Hinare, you know, the guy that I'm, was watching out for personally in this match, because he's a New Zealander like me. Uh, you know, just good, fun stuff. Uh, Gorilla's Destiny, I believe, got the win. Uh, they did get the win, of course. It wasn't too long, it was about 6 minutes, 40 seconds. Uh, but it was good stuff, I thought, still. Um... Then we have the next match, we have Chaos consisting of Jado and Toriyanu versus Suzuki Gun consisting of Taka Mishinoku and Zack Sabre Jr. This match, uh, you know, just like the opener, good fun stuff. Toriyanu, man, he's been in a lot of tag matches against Zack Sabre Jr. lately, Toriyanu, which is kind of funny. Um, but I, I did really like this match, just good stuff, what you'd expect, some fun stuff. Uh, and in the end, though, of course, Suzuki Gun got the win. Um, the match was a bit shorter than the opener, but it was what it was, and I liked it for it. Then we have next match, and the worst match of the night to me. We have David Finlay and Juice Robinson versus Kota Ibushi and Yuji Hiro. Oh, sorry, Yujiro Takahashi. This match was garbage. Uh, it was the stuff with Kota Ibushi was all right, but I can't stand Juice Robinson, obviously, for uh, you know why. Um, yes, I'm still pissed about it. Um, so, well, like the the part at the end when David Finlay was just holding on to Kota Bushi so he couldn't break up the pin was just it pissed me off and it was so dumb. You know, it was just Kota. You know, Kota couldn't. I mean, Kota, like he like he's hold hold on to you for like five years. I mean, obviously that's an exaggeration. You know, and he still didn't get out of it. That's just ridiculous. He should have got out of it. And not only that, but Juice Robinson was the one who made the pin. The David Finlay and Juice Robinson cheat to win. Uh, bull crap. Absolutely hated that crap. Crap match. Let's move on. Uh, next up, we have um, Chaos, consisting of Yo. I mean, not Yo. <laughs> consisting of Sho and Tomohiro Ishii versus a lot in WS Dead Japan consisting of Sanada and Tetsuya Naito. This match was so much fun, man. Uh, this is by far my favorite match um, of the tag matches tonight. It was just a lot of fun, I thought, for what it was. It was just energetic. The stuff from Sanada and Naito, of course, was awesome. And the stuff was show, of course. Tomohiro Ishii, like I said, I do respect that man as a wrestler. Uh, but probably, like, my least favorite wrestler out of these four guys. Well, I say that with respect, by the way. Uh, and Los in the, and, you know, I'll just say Sonata and Tetsuya Naito. Sonata and Tetsuya Naito got the win for their team in this match, so good for them. Then we have the next match. We have Chaos, consisting of Haruki Goto and Yo versus The Bullet Club, consisting of Chase Owens and Kenny Omega. Uh, this was another fun match, uh, in my opinion. Just good stuff. Uh, it was, you know, just like all the tag matches. It was, it was the shortest tag match actually, but it was still really fun for what it was, in my opinion. Uh, you know, it was. I just wasn't a fan of Chase Owens and Kenny Omega's team losing, but it was what it was, and nothing anyone can do about it. So we can just move on. Uh, and now we go on to the G1 climax matches. We have Michael Elgin. 
versus Hangman Page. This is the A Block's turn once again. Um, Mark Gallagher versus Hangman Page. This match was absolutely tremendous. Absolutely love this match. Uh, just so many amazing counters. So much awesome stuff. They absolutely tore the house down. Um, it wasn't. It wasn't my personal match of the night, by the way. Uh, uh, I'm sure you guys can guess what my personal favorite match of the night was. But we'll get on to that later, of course. Um, this match, um, Michael Arkham vs. Hangman Page, honestly, the first 10 minutes to me were just pretty underwhelming. Honestly, it was just whatever. But, like, it picks up. The moment the match picks up, it picks up like nothing, man. And it's just incredible, man. It's This match was fantastic. Great counters all around. Ultimately, Michael Arkham was able to get the win. But not knocking off anything for Hangman Page, man. He he held his own in this match, of course, and we can all respect that at least. Uh, so that's two points for Michael Elgin. Then we have the next match. We have uh, Yoshihashi versus Evil. This was really good in my opinion. I had a lot of fun watching this match. Maybe you know got a bit slow in some parts, but I I did have fun watching this match. Uh, poor Yoshihashi, man. Like he hasn't won a single G1 match. Uh, this year so far, you know, in including uh, whatever tag matches he might have been in, uh, but this match was a lot of fun, they did fight in the ring, outside the ring, I meant, for a good amount, that was cool, um, Evil, uh, ultimately got the win, so, but that was awesome stuff, uh, so yeah, then went to the next match, <clears throat> and it only gets better from there, man, we have to Togi Makabe versus Minoru Suzuki, this was awesome, uh, I mean, all the G1 Climax matches for tonight was were freaking awesome, man. Uh, this match was great stuff. Toby Makabe and Minoru Suzuki just hard hitting. They were beating the crap out of each other. It was just, it was just a treat for the eyes. That's how what that's what I can say about this match. Good stuff, stiff hits. Great stuff from both guys. Uh, but. Uh, Minoru Suzuki did everything he could. I think he even tried to cheat a bit. He probably did. <laughs> but ultimately, Togi Makabe was able to get the win. And I like the ending where... Um, I think Tobi, Tobi, Togi Makabe's finish is called the Kong... Something King Kong. And it's funny because I've been I've been thinking about the, the movie King Kong and the character recently a lot. You know, like Peter Jackson's King Kong, the 1933 King Kong... Uh, but that's another story for another day. Um, he did, like, Suzuki was in the air. Well, not <laughs> not in the air, but Suzuki was standing up. Togi Makabe did his Kong move uh, to Suzuki while he was standing up, but he didn't get all of it, of course. So he went back to top rope to fully land his Kong finisher uh, for the 1-2-3. Uh, so that's good stuff for him. Uh, so yeah. Then with the next match... A uh, match that I think will go down pretty underrated. Uh, we have Kazuchika Okada versus Bad Luck Fale. This match, to me, was a lot of fun. I think these two have great chemistry, honestly. Um, they have really good chemistry, in my opinion. Uh, I just really enjoyed what these guys did with each other. Ending, the yeah, the ending I can forgive. Um, you had uh, Tama Tonga come out and... Uh, yeah, Tama, Tama, Tama Tonga come out and uh, screw over Kazuchika Okada. There were there were a lot of shenanigans in this match. I mean, but it was it was still great stuff. I thought, and Fale got the win, of course. But I I really enjoyed this match. Still, I I really did. I think I might have liked it a bit more than Makabe Suzuki, honestly. Yeah. Mm. And then we go into the main event. We have Hiroshi Tanahashi versus my boy Switchblade Jay White. Um, this was my personal favorite match of the night. Uh, I absolutely love this match. It was awesome. Uh, there were so many shenanigans throughout this match, man. You had just Jay White trying to cheat the whole time, which I didn't mind at all, because I'm happy if Jay White wins any match. Cheating or not, I'm happy that he's winning, you know? And even Tanahashi was cheating a bit, and it was just, it was funny, it was engaging. It was so much fun, in my opinion. It was the longest match of the night. It was 24 minutes. Uh, 
and it was just awesome, man. I, I loved every bit of it, honestly. And um, they were just back and forth. Tanahashi, you know, being intense. You know, he's not letting what Jay White's doing to him get to him. He's punching him, and Tanahashi's like, that's the best you got. Stuff like that. And it was just awesome stuff. Finishes, well, signature moves more like. The ending came where after, after a bunch of stuff... My boy Jay White hits the Blade Runner on Tanahashi for the one, two, three. So Jay White defeats Hiroshi Tanahashi, and he's up four points. That is phenomenal. I absolutely loved it. Oh man, like I said, not not to get my hopes up or anything, but if Jay White wins the whole thing, I will go ballistic in a good way, of course. That was awesome, man. And, like I said, the Jay White haters, they can remain butthurt for the rest of their lives. Because Jay White's the man. And New Japan Pro Wrestling have known, have realized that he's the man, finally. Like, this is really... Like, they're really, like, trying to make up for um, the bull crap that happened at, in San Francisco with Jay White uh, and... Just do Spagetson, but yeah. Anyway, that was my review of day three of the G1 Climax, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and uh, and uh, day four isn't until the 19th, I believe. Uh, then it'll be another three or four days of, of continuing the G1 Climax from that point on. So, yeah, three days. In a row of reviewing the G1 Climax, I could use a prick, honestly. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and uh, you want to comment your thoughts? If you haven't, you know, if you haven't, if you're not haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe to me. It would mean a lot to me, especially if you subscribe, man. Cause, yeah. Uh, but yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. That's my review. Peace out. See you guys later. Have a good day.